Well, when it comes to caffeinated beverages in the morning, many of us fall into two camps. It's either coffee or tea. And now Vancouver Duo is hoping to bring the two sides together and jolt the fair trade industry with their coffee leaf tea. For more on that, we're joined by the uh, co-founders of Wise Monkey, Max Reve and Arno Pedavelle. Nice to see you. Thanks for being here. Pleasure. Thank, Thank you very much. So how did you, first of all, how did you find out about this? this what, what exactly is coffee leaf? <laughs> well, uh, we, were, uh, we were studying in France together at school doing a master's and we came across a study showing the health benefits of coffee leaf tea and how in the past it's actually been consumed for over a thousand years depending wow. on our different reports in, in Ethiopia and parts of Sumatra. And so we realized, hey, wait a minute, why is, why is this such a great product that could actually solve a major issue in the coffee industry in terms of seasonality that hasn't really been evolved or innovated beyond just that? So how did you, uh, how did you source it out? Well, we. We started our trip in Nicaragua just backpacking, uh, finding Nicaragua because Max you know, went there like, for, for quite a few times and we decided to go there and like, find the yeah. source ourselves and so we started look, uh, looking for co-ops at first, after looking for more uh, private farmers and just, just you know, finding some good friends and some good referrals and we actually found our, uh, the person is actually our third business partner now in the business, which mm -hmm. is actually the, who is actually the coffee farmer, Enrique. Right. So, uh, so how does, uh, like, what is the process around it? Like, what exactly is a coffee leaf? Like, so is it a coffee or is it a tea? It's, it's definitely more of a tea. As you can see, like here, it's, it's clear and it's, it's really smooth. Um, in the winter time, from about December to March, depending where you are, yeah. you can pick the, the actual bean. So that's the, that's the season where you can actually you know, make the money as a coffee farmer. Okay. And the rest of the year, you have about 90% of the workers that are seasonal, and so there's really no productivity whatsoever. And these are the number one exports for these countries, especially Latin America. Right. And so in the summer, we realized that they were pruning the leaves off and just essentially tossing them out. And so when we realized that, we said, hey, wait a minute, why don't we go do this and create a year-round you know, sustainable income for these guys and also you know, maintain the quality of the coffee by still using the same techniques they're already doing. Now, is that what's called the for-profit social venture? Tell us about that part of it. Yeah, so it's, it's a social venture because we're introducing a whole new way to make year-round income. And we're also partnered with an NGO called Project Alianza that uh, helps uh, generate schools in rural communities where the government has kind of, kind of forgotten it. It's kind of on the outskirts of town. Okay. And so um, by, by creating this innovation, this kind of shift, we're trying to break the poverty cycle in coffee farms where you're always stuck with seasonal work. You're always having to move and move your kids, take them out of school to, to go to other places. So normally saying the bean is the one thing, but here's another way that you can use yeah. basically all of the plants. Precisely. What we like to say is think outside the bean. <laughs> <laughs> so let's, uh, you pour a couple of uh, some, sure. some drinks there and uh, tell us a, a little bit about the reaction. What's the reaction been so far when people say it's, well, it's tea, but it's actually <laughs> coffee? It's been really well received, honestly. At first, we were incredibly skeptical ourselves as, as yeah. consumers, uh, just generally speaking. And um, over time, uh, like last year, for example, we got the World Tea Expo Best New Product Award, and that kind of put us on the map in the tea industry. Uh, just last weekend, we got the uh, BC Food Processors uh, Product of the Year Award. Um, and so it's, it's starting to really kick off now, and, and you know, stores are picking it up. And we've had sales in over 35 countries worldwide. So you classify yourself as a tea, though, right? Definitely. As, yeah. Uh, I get, technically, it would be called an herbal tea. Yeah. An herbal tea. Yeah. Well, it's very interesting. It tastes, it tastes great. I mean, it really is, is quite good. But it does taste like a tea. It's, it's not like a yeah. coffee, definitely. <laughs> and you've got a carbonated version of yeah. it there as well. That's really great. Well, if you want some more information, or you guys have a website people can go to get a little more information? Yeah, absolutely. WiseMonkey.com. We're also on, like, on the, all the major social networks as well. So you can, uh, you yeah. can find us there. And we have tons of footage of the farm. We do everything transparently, so you can see actually the, the yeah. entire process that we've been creating ourselves. And, and just to reiterate, like the actual farm owners, our third partner, we're split three ways, so it's all vertically integrated. We're not buying off a consortium of different people having right. everything else. It's all done in-house and direct from the farm. Great stuff. All right, guys. Well, thanks. Nice to meet you both. Yeah. Thank you very Thank much. You very much. Thank you. And thanks for the tea <laughs> <Cheers>. <laughs> or coffee. You decide. All right.